now uh, at the first day of the harm reduction conference, European harm reduction conference in Bucharest. And we have now uh, a registered number of 360 people, which is much more than we expected. We cover uh, hepatitis C, HIV, we cover prison, we cover new psychoactive substances. We cover pro uh, topics such as homelessness, mental health, sex work. It's the first time in, uh, in our uh, local history in harm reduction field when this kind of event takes place here. We can see um, a very serious divide, uh, a regional divide in the European Union. We have really having uh, an emergency situation in many countries, a crisis where harm reduction services which were established in the 2000s co completely collapsed. And this is partly because of uh, change in funding environment, uh, also partly ch ch change in political uh, environments. In Bulgaria, needle syringe programs completely stopped. There is no, not, no needle exchange anymore because of lack of funding. In Hungary, we still have on paper many uh, needle and syringe programs, and some of them really operate. But uh, the two largest programs were shut down, actually, who, which uh, served uh, more than half of needles distributed in the whole country. Here, where we are in Romania, we know that uh, uh, clients served by needle exchange programs in, in just this year dropped from 7,500 to 2,000 people. We have to struggle to keep alive our services, but I think this is something that everybody should be aware of and uh, not be very comfortable thinking that they have resources for now, because tomorrow you never know. A lot of Isentres is very good. <laughs> We are having a generalized talk out uh, regarding the HIV treatment in uh, 11 hospitals now. Starting with the last days of uh, August, we, we start to miss the HIV treatment from the, from the hospitals. I receive uh, some participants bring me, bring me donation and uh, yeah, I will send it. In comparison with 2006, uh, there were, I think, six organizations who were providing harm reduction services, but f b by the time they, they closed due to lack of funding because the financial budget decreased by 65%. The harm reduction services uh, in Bulgaria stopped uh, in July 2017. After the bubble fund to withdraw the country. We don't have any exchange. Uh, we also don't, don't have any testing on the streets among uh, the group of people who use drugs and sex workers. And we don't, uh, don't uh, have on, uh, also case management, which is a very, very big problem, because usually people who we are working with are very marginalized. Can you tell us what HARIACT is about? HARIACT uh, has been a three-year project uh, financed by the European Commission and uh, it's about harm reduction, uh, scaling up, intensifying, advocating for harm reduction, especially in Eastern EU countries. The main lesson we learned was that we cannot really make changes in harm reduction, even with the big EU project, without governmental involvement. Because if government does not support harm reduction programs and if government is tend to close uh, NGOs, then we cannot come from outside with trainings and teach people how to do testing when the government doesn't find these activities. I see a handcuff on you. What does it represent? Uh, yeah, that, that's about criminalization. Here in the conference we bring a campaign Chase the Virus, Not People, a campaign by nine uh, regional Eurasian uh, networks of different communities. And we all recognize that criminalization and discrimination is the key barrier for HIV response, hepatitis or TB response. If you are paying unemployment wages, paying uh, all the services, OST, uh, NSP in the highest level, it costs several times less than you are just keeping person in prison. In Germany and in some other countries, Great Britain also, we have a high prevalence of overdoses, also of opiate overdoses, also fentanyl. I don't think um, um, that the situation will be the same as in uh, North America, 
but we have uh, from 50 to 75 percent of all drug-related deaths are opiate overdoses and we have to develop um, the right services for that, drug consumption rooms, naloxone and uh, some other things. Drug consumption rooms prevent overdose, uh, the prevention of HIV, hepatitis C and other blood transmitted disease. You have no more people in front of your house using drugs in the street, they have a proper access to a safe, hygienic and stress-free environment. The benefits involving the community in the harm reduction are that we know what happens first fast. For example, in Glasgow, we had a peer-to-peer -peer naloxone program, gave out more naloxone in one small area of Glasgow. They gave out 1,200 units in 11 months, which was more than every single professional gave out in the previous year in the whole of Glasgow. What is drug checking? What is it about? We propose people who want to consume drugs or consume drug to analyze their drugs. We can identify um, especially uh, new uh, substances uh, sold in the uh, internet and also uh, be careful about um, fentanyl, for example, and to be sure that we have not such a big problem as in the United States, in France. What does harm reduction mean to you? It's a philosophy, a notion that uh, sobriety is not for everyone. Not all people uh, need sobriety to function. Some people need drugs to function better. Harm reduction is not only about drug use, it's about how you interfere with other people or institutions with the sit or situations. So it's uh, a way of uh, uh, thinking, living and uh, working.